Hi friends, Krista here. Thanks for stopping by Books and Jams again. Today is another one of those videos where I embarrass myself greatly. <laughs> I have hundreds of unread books on my shelves. Hundreds. In those hundreds of books, there are a number of authors where I have started to collect a number of their books and yet haven't read anything. So, I am going to tell you today five authors that I own multiple books, three or more, and I haven't yet read a single one. So it's a bit embarrassing. I'm also deciding that by the end of 2019, I will have at least read at least one of the books by these five authors. Some of them you have recommended to me uh, for my 2019 recommendations pile. That is my main goal for the year this year. But I've also just decided as a goal, a late 2019 goal, I'm going to read at least one book from these five authors. But let's just jump into the embarrassment. <laughs> now, a reminder, I have not paid full price for any of the books that you're about to see. So although there are a lot of them here, and even though I haven't read anything by these authors, most of these books were 50 cents to a dollar, maybe a couple dollars from Book Outlet, but yeah, there's a lot of them. And I bet some of you could probably guess right now some of those authors. If you've been around here for a while, you'll know that I've been collecting some of these authors and yet haven't read any. So let me, let me know down below if you're able to guess some of these before you hear what they are. All right, the first author that I'm going to talk about is Sarah Dessen. I have six Sarah Dessen books here and I haven't read any of them. The ones that I have collected are Saint Anything, Keeping the Moon, Just Listen, that's bright, uh, the, truth about, the Truth About Forever, Lock and Key, and Along for the Ride. These, I believe, are all contemporary romances, mostly young adult. I have a feeling that they will be quick and easy and light, um, which is something that I enjoy reading as a palate cleanser now and then. However, I'm also fully prepared to read one or two and decide that they're not for me. I've heard enough people now that I've been on booktube for a longer time. I've heard enough people say they loved Sarah Dessen when they were in high school, but not so much as adults. So I'm willing to give her a try. I'm going to read at least Saint Anything this year because this is the one that someone recommended to me because they knew I hadn't read Sarah Dessen. So they're like, read one. So this is on my pile of recommendations. So I'll at least read this one this year, maybe one or two of the others, and then I'll decide, do I need to keep all of these Sarah Dessen books or not? We shall see. The second author that I'm going to talk about, I, I have a feeling I'm going to love. <laughs> So I have four of her books, and that is Heather Gutenkopf. And I have Little Mercies, I have One Breath Away, The Weight of Silence, and These Things Hidden. Now I think Heather Gutenkopf, from what I understand, is similar to Jodi Picoult in that she talks about current kind of situations in our current day. So these are all contemporary. But I think she makes you really think about your snap judgments, about your first responses to things, similar to Jodi Pico. I believe one of these is about a school shooting. One of them is about a girl who's a selective mute. I think that there's gonna be a little bit of mystery. I just really feel like I'm gonna love her. Lindsay from Little Lindsay's Little Free Library talked about Heather Gutenkopf. I, I think she's actually the only person I've heard talk about her on booktube. So I love Lindsay and I love her recommendations. We have very similar tastes. So I'm even more convinced that I'm going to really like Heather Grunkoff, but I just need to dump in and read one of them. None of these were recommended to me this year, but I am still going to read one of them. So if you think I should start with one of them over the others, if you're more curious about one more than the other, I don't, I'm not going into detail about what the books are about, but if you're familiar with this author and you know where I should start, let me know. That's not bad, only four of her books. I don't even know how many she has. She might only have four. I might have them all, who knows. Another author that I'm really excited to read, I have three of her books and that's Sarah Addison Allen. And I have First Frost, I had this in my pile of like wintry books. Someone told me this is a sequel to Garden Spells, which I don't own yet. And Lost Lake is another one of her books and then she has something about a peach peach keeper maybe. Um, so I knew, anyways, I have First Frost, I have The Sugar Queen and I have The Girl Who Chased the Moon. 
I am really interested in her books. I think hers have a little bit of magic in them. Um, mostly contemporary from what I understand, maybe a little bit of mystery as well, but also this element of otherworldliness or magic or um, something along those lines. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited to give her a try. So if you've read anything by Sarah Addison Allen, let me know of these three, where should I start? Another author <laughs> that I can't believe I haven't read yet, and I now own one, two, three, four, five of hers as well. They're much bigger than Heather Gutenkopf's five, or no, I only have four of those. These ones are a lot thicker, that I believe they're mostly historical fiction, but that is Lucinda Riley. And I have, ooh, I have The Italian Girl, The Lavender Garden, The Girl on the Cliff, The Midnight Rose, and The Orchid House. Now, I have heard a little bit of mixed things about Lucinda Riley, and I know she has her more popular, I think maybe more popular series is about the Seven Sisters, and I believe there are seven books in that series, and I don't have any of those. These feel to me like Susanna Kearsley. When I read the descriptions, it sounds kind of similar vein to Susanna Kearsley, who's an author that I really love. Um, maybe some dual timelines in most of them. There's often some element of historical fiction, uh, some element of mystery uh, involved as well, often a house or an estate that's a big part of the book. All of those things I really love. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like Lucinda Riley. I just haven't jumped in to do it, to read any of them yet. So I definitely need to do that in 2019. And finally, <laughs> You can see this whole empty cubby right here because all of these books came from that cubby. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have 11, 11 books by Philippa Gregory. And I haven't read any of them. And I'm really intimidated because I don't know where to start. I believe that each of her books can stand alone, but I feel like I need to read them in historical order, maybe not publication order, but historical order to make the most sense of them. Um, these are all historical fiction based on uh, England, British history. So I have, let me just go through the pile. I don't think these are in any order at this point. I just kind of pulled them all off the shelf. But I have The Virgin's Lover, The Other Queen, The White Queen, the White Princess, The Bolin Inheritance, The Queen's Fool, The Other Bolin Girl, The Kingmaker's Daughter, The Red Queen, The Lady of the Rivers, which this may be the first one, because this I had put on my 2018 TBR shelf, because I think I did research, I think this might be first. Correct me if I'm wrong, some of you Philippa, Philippa Gregory lovers out there, should I start with this one? And finally, I have The King's Curse. So I had been gathering them. I stopped. I made myself stop gathering them until I read a couple because April from Getting Hugga With It had been collecting them too. She read one and did not like it at all and unhauled them all. And that made me really nervous. <laughs> What if that happens to me too? I spent all this time gathering these books. Again, I only paid a couple bucks at most for any of these. Most were from library sales, so they were super cheap. But I have 11 of them, and I haven't read any. That's not something to be proud of. <laughs> so those are the five authors that I have read and need to read at least one of their books before the year is over. That is my goal. So tell me, where should I start? Have you read any of these? Again, the authors are Sarah Dessen, Heather Gutenkopf, Sarah Addison Allen, Lucinda Riley, and Philippa Gregory. Do you have a favorite of theirs? Where should I start? Please, please tell me your thoughts. Let's chat down in the comments below. You know I always love talking to you down there. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will be talking to you soon in another video. Bye.